Augustine and the folks here from Armstrong, Elkton and Vermont Heights and Tark was just saying, man, these storms seem like they are dumping a lot of water. They're not moving all that fast. And yes, they are saturated top to bottom. So as they come through, they're going to leave a half inch inch of rainfall. We saw some yesterday that came through and where this one has the marine advisory, some wind gusts here associated with this cluster that's in the red. Uh, this is where we're seeing those gusts upwards of 40 plus miles an hour. Wouldn't want to be on a boat and seeing that coming out. You'd be trying to get ready to hightail it out of here. But as we take you to St. Augustine, as a matter of fact, we can do that with just a click here. And there we are at the white room. It doesn't look like we've met the uh, area here just yet for the bridge of lines. It looks like it's just to the south where they're seeing some of the heavier stuff. I can see some lines here where some folks may have driven through some puddles, but the heavier stuff through parts of central and southern St. Johns County approaching the beaches and moving offshore. And that's what we have here anywhere between Atlantic Beach southward into Jack's Beach. And we'll come back to that camera in just a moment. Pablo Keys northward. We're up through Greenfield, Beacon Hills and stretching into the areas around the Wonderwood and then into Mayport. And that's going to come up here in about a 15 minute window. So closer to about 430. And as we're watching this line, these continue to move actually from the south to the north. They were following the river. Now they're following I-95. And that takes us to the airport. Now we've got another camera here. We'll bring up the airport camera. And there you go is the downpours and our raindrops as they continue there over JIA. To the north around Nahunta, some big wind gusts came through here. Also upwards of around the 40 mile an hour range. Blackshear, Waycross, and Patterson outside of it right now. But this is continuing to drift from the west to the east. So Brunswick and then out toward those Golden Isles. We're going to see these downpours. US 17 and I-95, Satilla Shores, Deerwood, Glen Canyon. Pine Haven in the light shower activity right now. Not much of the thunder, but in the next 15 minutes, the same idea. That's where you're going to start to see some of that thunder as it's coming through. And then to the south, we'll wrap up here as we have the cluster that continues to move offshore. That is also going to incorporate areas of the Palm Coast Parkway, Hammock Dunes, and then moving north into uh, St. John's County. Let's back it up here. A couple of things that we're watching in the tropics. The one that's in the Caribbean aiming closer to Nicaragua and Honduras. The yellow blob is a little bit more to the north than it needs to be, but we're up to a 40% chance now. Something that's way out in the Atlantic is trying to develop. And this doesn't look as rainy as what we're seeing there via the map as we're seeing some of those showers, downpours, and yeah, even some lightning strikes. Maybe that's why the beach is pretty quiet. In Julington Creek, we used this map last night as we were watching a lot of rain through that area. 88 degrees feels like 93 degrees outside. Our forecast will be tracking the showers and storms through the early evening. Some will start to settle as early as sunset. Some could linger like what we saw last night up to about 10 o'clock. Another afternoon with daytime highs taking us upwards of around 110 degrees with the feels like temperatures and those daytime highs just on the thermometer. Those are going to continue in the 90s, a trend that continues here through the weekend and they're not giving up even in to the start of the upcoming work week.